I'm going to sort of talk about how this is where I came from in the 90s. I was making graphics and Illustrator and programs like that by writing code, which people thought was kind of weird. They didn't like it because they thought I was cheating. When you start using a new technology for anything, people are surprised by it. They're usually afraid of it because it's kind of like a change in perspective. You know, I just switched perspectives there. It's like, whoa, what happened? Well, it's change, and most people don't like change. Now, AI, it turns out it happens to be uh, not the next thing, but it already kind of happened, if you haven't noticed. And it's somewhat confusing to a lot of people. So what uh, I've been doing is trying to really make it easier to understand AI. To understand this new kind of AI, you know, a regular computer program, if you take 12 and you add 12 to it, it becomes 24 and you're like, good job, computer. You did the right thing. This new kind of AI, of course, if you add 12 plus 12, it might be 25 or 27-ish, or it might be even, um, can't add those numbers right now, boss, kind of thing. So it's a different kind of computation. It's kind of a West Coast style computation, kind of laid back, you know? And in this new kind of flip to this kind of non-deterministic style of computation, it's an opportunity to do new things. And so in that spirit, I'm hoping that you will like to come along and learn how something like Semantic Kernel works. It is what's called an AI orchestrator. Basically, it lets you orchestrate uh, different tasks uh, in computation that combines the calculator world, regular computation, with this new kind of, kind of surfer style computation. This hybrid kind of computation is gonna define the next generation of AI developer, designer, product manager, and also CEO executive as well. Now this is all built upon the book I wrote called How to Speak Machine, which came out in 2019. It was a commercial flop because nobody knew what I was talking about. Computation, machine learning, well, I wrote the book for myself because I had sort of lost track of what is computation. I went to MIT, studied engineering, went to design, got my MBA, and kind of been bouncing around a bit. Now, when these three things have come together around this new powerful kind of AI, wow, I feel really great. So if you want to learn more about AI, the practical uses of it, useful things around AI, I'm going to gather them together in this new series of content. And I have a new studio here in my house, so I can basically do stuff like this, and you saw the sort of fancy fade, things like this. Wow, it's so easy in 2023. But to be honest, I'm not like the amazing Gen Z video makers who can make a video every other day or even every day. So uh, now that I have a, a static studio, I have more capacity. Uh, my parents are getting along as well as they can. And... Um, I hope that you're curious about AI like me, and let's see what we can learn together. See you soon.